Hello, people of YouTube. Hello, Silver Stackers. Hello, Coin Roll Hunters. Welcome to my little corner of the internet. This is Michael from Penny Haven, and first off, if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button, then give it a like, then come back over here and hit that bell icon so you know when my new videos come out. Also, hit that join button down below, and I'll tell you all the benefits of channel membership. All right. So, today, I've got something very cool. Uh, just kind of fell in my lap. So, if you watch my channel, you'll know that I like to get a lot of coin folders to fill out. That's, I, I love doing that. I've gotten a lot of new silver ones for Canadian and Great Britain silver recently, but uh, I got a replacement for a book I already have. So for a long time, I've been keeping my eye out to get my hands on some Library of Coins brand uh, coin folders. They're very sought after, and I see why now that I have this one in my hands. It's so well made. Very, very nice. So I got this Library of Coins Buffalo Nichols book. Not only did I get this beautiful, beautiful book, it has coins in it. It's a partial set. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my old Buffalo Nickel book, which I'll miss. I love the look of this book too, but this one is just too good. So, I'm still missing 13. So, we'll see how many. If this has any of the ones that I'm missing, that would be super. I haven't really cross checked it yet. So, we'll find that out during this video. And then once I transfer everything over into here, I'm going to start putting nickels back in this book. This is going to be my backup book. This will be, you know, my, my A and my B book. All right. Let's combine them. Here we go. Okay, so I got all of my Buffalo Nickels transferred over. Let's see where we stand. So, here we go. Front page, I'm missing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, but they do have spot for an error down here, 1918D over 17. And while I think it's cool to include those uh, in in the book it also makes it very difficult to complete the book you know, if you've got you know, key date errors like i'll show you on the last page they've got another one that's gonna totally hamstring me but for some reason when i got it this one sleeve had an x right over the 1917. so luckily i had some uh, other sleeves they were a little long so i had to trim it but Worked out just fine. So I've got the two 1913 versions, the raised ground and the non, the type two. Same with the 1913D, I have the raised ground. I do not have the other one. And missing the both 1913S varieties and 1914D. And so on and so on. These are some pretty key dates, low mintages, 1.5 million, uh, four and a quarter. Okay. Now I'm missing 1919S, seven and a half million. And I've actually gone on to a website that I use pretty frequently, uh, Chief Coins and Supply. I'll put a link to their store down below. What they have there that's pretty cool whenever you're trying to finish out a book is they have culls or coins with minor problems that are you know, slashed a very good discount so you can get a coin as a place filler, finish out your book, and then get to upgrading it. Because, you know, whenever I finish a book, it's not done. That just means I now get the chance to go back and upgrade every one of those coins. 
make the book look better and better. All right, so 21S, 1.5 million, 24S, same, 26D, five, over 5 million, maybe I should be looking for that one, 26S, less than a million. All right, then 1931S, one and a quarter million. Now, this, <laughs> this threw me for a loop. Like I said, this book came with a number of coins already in, and I see, I'm, as I'm sliding my, my coins over, I see two 1937Ds, and I realize this one is the three-legged variety, and there was a coin in there. So I finished putting all my coins in there patiently, I flipped the page over, and it has clearly four legs. So that... Uh, Real funny, last guy who owned this. Real funny. So that's that. My first library of coins coin folder. It is super nice. I didn't know exactly what to expect, but man, it is just sturdy. So well made. You open the pages. You open pages in most books, and there's a little give, a little wobble. These are so tight and thick good stuff. All right. Time to get out of here. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you to my channel members. Thank you to my Patreon supporters. Consider joining them. All right. Time for me to get on out of here. This is Michael from Pennyhaven. Happy hunting.